time Adobe releases a new version of Captivate, there's a lot of questions that show up on the forums as well as in the comments of some of my videos as well. And I thought I'd do a quick video today that just sort of covers off the basics as to how you get Adobe Captivate 2019, uh, what you can do if you just purchased Adobe Captivate 2017, and uh, you know which solution is best for each individual. So now, of course, I'm only going to deal with uh, consumer uh, plans, consumer products in this case here. Uh, if you purchase Adobe Captivate through your enterprise solutions or through your IT department does it for a large uh, enterprise or medium to large business, uh, you know, I, I don't have any line of sight to that stuff. So today we're just talking about the consumer products uh, that fall under the Adobe Captivate umbrella here. So uh, here's, uh, of course, the adobe.com slash Captivate web page. And I've clicked on buying guide. This is the U.S. site, by the way. And of course, in different regions, you'll see uh, different uh, regions and, of course, different currencies. But um, let's just go through each one of these. Uh, the more traditional way of purchasing Adobe Captivate would probably be the perpetual license price. Um, currently, Adobe Captivate 2019 is twelve ninety nine U.S. dollars. Uh, if you had purchased Adobe Captivate 2017, you would be eligible to purchase Adobe Captivate 2019 through the upgrade program and pay only $4.99 instead of the full $12.99. So those are sort of the perpetual license paths. You start off by purchasing a, a, a version. And as long as you're not skipping a version, you can take advantage of the upgrade price at $4.99. Now, uh, some people fall into this category of student and teacher. I did for a while. Uh, there was a period of time where I was working uh, for a certificate in teaching and training adults. And I went back to my local community college and took advantage of that while I was there. And uh, I don't know if this is the price that I got before, but it was considerably less than buying the full perpetual license. And this as well is a full perpetual license. So once you purchase Adobe Captivate through this, that is your copy of Adobe Captivate that you get to keep uh, in theory forever. Nowadays, the, the trend is to start shifting more folks over to a subscription model. The advantage to you as an end user is that you pay $29.99 a month, so it's very easy on your bank account. Uh, you do have to agree to an annual subscription, um, but the advantage, probably the biggest advantage, is that during that time, if Adobe comes out with a new version of Captivate uh, that basically replaces the, the existing version, uh, you'll be eligible to continue your subscription with that new version. So you're not out potentially thousands of dollars. There is actually another way that you can get uh, Adobe Captivate from Adobe, and that's through something called the uh, Technical Communication Suite. And uh, this is a series of products that have been bundled together. I'll just quickly run through them for you. Uh, and this would be a great choice for someone who's uh, currently uh, using Adobe Captivate and one or more uh, other of these following pieces of software. So uh, Adobe FrameMaker 2019 release is included, uh, RoboHelp 2019, obviously Captivate 2019, Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, and Adobe Presenter 11.1. So perhaps you want to be able to do multiple different tasks like for example, uh, FrameMaker would be a good choice if you're developing XML-based documentation. Uh, certainly, publishing it out to Adobe Acrobat would be a possibility. And, uh, you know, if you're also using uh, PowerPoint and want to be able to take those PowerPoints and bring them into an e-learning situation, uh, Presenter is a great choice there as well. So having multiple pieces of software of course, makes it a little more appealing to go with one of these bundles. A little more expensive. Um, not by much, though. The subscription is $49.99, so you get all that software for basically 50 bucks a month. You can get a full license, like a perpetual copy of Captivate before, 
uh, for $16.99. You can upgrade from a previous release of the technical communication suite. Uh, you can, you, the qualifying upgrades would be 2017 or the July 2017 release. So you could take advantage of uh, either one of those for $6.99. And uh, so that's another choice as well. One of the things that does come up, though, of course, uh, especially or in particular with the perpetual license choice, uh, and this would be applicable to here, uh, here, and here, because these are all perpetual licenses. You're just different paths to get to there. So let's say, for example, you previously had purchased a perpetual license of some kind uh, with Adobe Captivate 2017. Maybe as recent as uh, the beginning of August, uh, you know, maybe late July or something like that. And of course, I can imagine how frustrating this would be as you just laid out $1,300 and uh, suddenly Adobe Captivate 2019 gets released. And you're like, oh, I just bought it. Well, there is a solution for uh, that situation as well. And I want to point you in that direction as well. So if you're in that situation, in other words, um, if you bought Adobe Captivate Fuller Upgrade around the time that a new version of the software was announced, you might qualify for a complimentary upgrade to the latest version. So how do you do this? Well, you make sure that you meet the requirements. And by the way, this link on this page here, I'll include this in the description of this video. So you can uh, click on this link and go directly to this point. Uh, so just uh, expand this section here and just read through this thing and double check that your situation is, uh, is eligible for the free upgrade. And once you have confirmed that all that is good to go, then you can simply uh, follow the process to apply for an upgrade. And uh, they don't really give you a great deal of information here, but if you click the Contact Us link, this will open a new browser window. And here's what I recommend that you do here. So uh, your instinct might be to click on Adobe Captivate. Instead, I want you to click down on eLearning slash techcom slash cold fusion, which is in the bottom right-hand corner and then select Captivate and tell them you're dealing with a licensing and activation situation. And of course, then it just gives you a search window to search the help pages and the forums, but instead click show me my contact options. And this is gonna open up um, three choices for you. Community forums is great, but it isn't really gonna help you with this situation. Uh, phone is, you might not be eligible for the phone options, um, but check out chat and this could really help you out here. Now chat is only available uh, certain periods of time. So let's just click this here and you'll see this support window in here and just write a description. Uh, of course, all the while, I should have pointed this out earlier, make sure you're signed in with your Adobe ID. Uh, I think that's important here but uh, just put in a brief description, just purchased Adobe Captivate 2017, want to get Adobe Captivate 2019, what are my options? And uh, if you provide them uh, everything that you need, including proof of purchase and so on, uh, they should be able to set you up. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.